hey guys um, welcome to this uh, tutorial playlist on tsql so basically throughout this um, uh, tutorial i'm going to take you from the complete basics to quite advanced concepts in uh, tsql um, so hopefully you guys enjoy so the videos are going to be in a sequential order so please do if you have no experience in sql or very limited experience in sql start from the beginning and work your way through the entire playlist so let's start at the beginning right so uh, the whole story with sql or tsql begins with uh, data in a sense right so what is data uh, so well in computing data is information that has been translated into a form that is efficient for movement or processing and to store this data especially in an organized way we use a tool called a database right so database is just an organized collection of data which can be easily accessed and managed and in typical or at least it, the, the way it used to be done in databases was that data was organized into tables and rows uh, and columns with indexes to make it easier to find relevant information so this was the case until very recently now there are some newer technologies which um, don't follow this uh, methodology but we'll come to that later on but with all things sql they are stored in, in a table format with rows and columns another concept is a D dbms or database management system which is a software that is used to interact with this database so you use it to store retrieve and manage data inside the database and DBMS are usually softwares and they're not open source as such so they are developed by companies and some of the bigger examples are Oracle SQL, SQL Server by Microsoft and MySQL. So these are popular database management tools. And apart from this we also have one last concept which is the RDBMS or Relational Database Management System. So an RDBMS is basically a database management system in which the data can be sort of related to each other which gives you a way to connect all the data in your database management system and sort of make it related to each other so you can uh, perform quite complex um, uh, calculations and searches for data right so suppose you had information about the school you go to so that would be stored in one table and you had students which would be and all their details in another table. So RDBMS would give you a way to connect the school table with the student table. So you know at which school, who are the students that belong there, right? So we'll look into all that in detail in upcoming videos, but this is just a primer. So now coming to SQL. So before getting into the SQL, it would make more sense to just quickly look at SQL. So SQL is structured query language. It is a standardized language for accessing and manipulating databases. So SQL statements, which are the what, which are the components of SQL, are used to perform tasks inside database or on databases to do things such as update data, retrieve or retrieve data. Right. So these SQL statements would perform tasks on a database inside a database management system, right? So a database would res reside inside the database management system and the SQL statements, you would enter them on the graphical user interface of the database management system to access the database or perform operations on the database. So the SQL language was sort of standardized by ANSI or the American National Standards Institute. And they gave us a sort of base vanilla flavor of SQL known as ANSI SQL. However, this was not this is not really in use anymore. Now we sort of use SQL, which has been um, created by the big vendors of DBMS software. So each vendor like Microsoft or Oracle uh, would add their own variations and extensions to the base and CSQL in order to improve its scope and functionality. And again, coming back to the RDBMS concept, RDBMS forms the basis of SQL. So basically what that means is the relationships between tables in a database exponentially grow the value and the use cases for your data right so sql builds on these relationships to 
make the most impact on your data otherwise if data was not interrelated there would be hardly any business value that could be generated between different data sets right so with the ability to connect them and make them related to each other we have unlocked a lot of value this brings us to tsql or uh, transact sql so tsql stands for transact structured query language and it is an extension of sql so after ansi sql came out in the late 80s um different rdbms vendors started developing their own database languages and extending sql to use with their own rdbms products so microsoft had a very successful product or 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 rdbms known as sql server and they developed a tsql or transact sql to work with sql server and ex- and extend the functionality of the sql language so at the end of the day tsql is a microsoft product and it works in the sql server um database management software and it has added functionality which microsoft thought would grow the scope of this language so coming to the differences between sql and tsql um sql was developed um at the labs at mit uh back in the 20th century but it is now an open source project meaning it was donated by ibm and the people who developed it um to the developer community around the world and whereas tsql is developed and owned by microsoft um and coming to the styles of programming sql follows the declarative programming style whereas tsql is a procedural programming language so what do those two mean so programming languages can generally be categorized as procedural or declarative procedural languages enable you to define a sequence of instructions that the computer follows to perform a task whereas um, declarative languages enable you to describe the output you want and leave the details of the steps required to produce the output to the execution layer in this case that would be the um the dbms that you were using and the sql language itself so tsql took a more procedural approach which gives you a lot of added functionality and granularity um when using the language um the next difference would be that sql is mainly a language used for querying data or for manipulating data stored in a database whereas tsql can be used creating applications and adding business logic and all this is mainly done inside microsoft sql server which is a data database management system uh, developed by microsoft and it's an extension of sql tsql is an extension of sql used primarily primarily for these softwares after this tsql supports uh, variables control statements and ex- exception handling as well and it also has a vast number of added features uh, which you could refer to as tsql objects which we'll get to in future videos which greatly increase its functionality and the final difference albeit an important one is that execute sql executes a uh, single statements at a time so it executes statement and gives you the output and then it sequentially moves on to the next one whereas in tsql you can bunch up statements at a time and also use features like looping and uh, if else conditional statements right so that's a brief uh, difference between sql and tsql um so just looking at um how they intersect sql was the first language developed and it sort of set the standard for querying databases and data in general tsql is built on top of sql and more or less covers all of its features and adds a lot of extra functionality and value as well so um you would not say that you learned sql and then now you have to learn tsql again so basically what i'm trying to say is that if you learn tsql not inherently you would be learning sql as well because they're bo- more or less basically the same but with some added functionality that tsql brings so the more knowledge the better for you right and this is just a look at how the la- um a look at the tsql language itself some these are some basic 
insert and uh, select statements which we look at in upcoming videos in detail so i think that's it for this video if you enjoyed it please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel as it greatly helps and we'll see you in the next video